Uh, hey YouTube, this is Matthew Morgan coming back with another video. And this video has to do with people who say that they follow God and his teachings and people who say they follow Jesus and his ways. And I am referring to the Christians, most indefinitely the Christians. Not all of y'all, but a good 5 or 10% of y'all. But anyway, and I have to talk about this Bible contradiction and how it makes God look like he's not stable in his wisdom. But anyway, first thing is first. If you are a Christian, that means you're supposed to resemble the spirit of Christ or Jesus. It means you're supposed to love people, care about people, forgive people, not point fingers, not judge, learn to understand, learn to be compassionate, learn to be understanding. Now, I'm going to say this, and I said it in church already. Because some older member had the nerve to say why people especially young people don't come to the church and i said and i quote first of all people in the world see the way people in the church behave and they act but they say they're supposed to be followers of god and his word and his ways they say they're supposed to carry carry the spirit of jesus but from a worldly person's perspective the church is not bettering no one. It's just making bigger sinners out of so-called saved people. That's why people that are not in the church would rather just not be in the church because they don't see no one in church really, really changing for the better. All they see is a bunch of fake-ass people that claim to follow Jesus on Sunday, but on Monday through Saturday, Monday through Saturday living like they ain't got no common sense. In other words, you're talking with you're talking with God on Sunday, but you're walking with the devil Monday through Saturday. Just to keep it a hundred with y'all, and then even in the church, there's a lot of dirt being done, and then people want to go go out there and try to preach the word to the lost. Well, my question to you is, since the church wants God to punish the world so bad. The church is supposed to be the salt and the light of the earth. It means you're supposed to you're supposed to put flavor in the world. It means you're supposed to set a good example of who God is and what he ex what he expects of you and what he's like. You're supposed to be the light of the world, which means you're supposed to guide other people back to the Father and his truth. But how can you do that if you're living like the person in the world that you judge? But you're going to church on Sunday making it like you're living holier than thou. But you're not. <clears throat> and the Bible clears, clearly tells you what's done in the dark will be brought to the light. Judge, let, judge not lest ye be judged. All, all that stuff. But anyway, as I said prior to that, Asking the question of why people, especially young people, don't want to be in a church. Because the fact of the matter is, who wants to go in the world being judged and torn up and ridiculed and broken down by the world just to go in the church where you think you're supposed to get accepted for who you are and not judge for what you do, but you get... <laughs> One hits you harder than the other. You definitely going to get judged. You definitely going to get judged. That's just not something you can avoid. Church people are going to judge you. Because they forget there was a point when they was doing very corrupt stuff. And most still do corrupt stuff in secret. But then they want to tithe and pray and read the Bible and act like God didn't just see what you did. But anyway... Nobody wants to come to the church because the church, it preaches things that it don't practice. There's stuff in the religious sector that don't make no damn sense. It don't go together. It does not work. Period. Now, to cover this basis, 
All this stuff y'all teach about, oh, God is love. Oh, God loves all his children. Everyone's welcomed in the church. Oh, everyone's going to get into heaven. Oh, God loves everybody. Then you say anyone can be in the church. Anyone can get saved. Then you say, just to contradict you on your own bullshit, then you say God don't like the sin of homosexuality and those who practice it are going to hell. But then God's supposed to be eternal loving and eternal forgiving and eternal understanding. And he, as he says, he, he forgives 70 times 7, which is supposed to be eternally. But he don't forgive those who sin against him. He only forgives the Christian that follows him. But he's supposed to love and forgive all his children, for all have fallen short of his expectation. But I guess that doesn't apply to the sinner who don't know better. It only applies to the Christian that does, apparently, whatever the case may be on that behalf. But anyway, telling a person that God loves them one minute when they're doing right, then they slip up and then you say God's pissed at you because you messed up as a human who, who's made to mess up and God made you so you could learn from your mistakes. One minute you're telling someone God's angry at them when they mess up, then he's cool with them when they do right. You make God sound very bipolar. How is it God is wise and angry? He's understanding, but he's pissed. He has eternal love, but he also has wrath. You can't put eternal love and wrath in the same thing in the same category. The shit don't fit. It's like oil and water. One has to cancel out the other. Either, either God's eternally loving, he's eternally understanding, he's eternally forgiving, he sees all things, he knows all, he's everywhere at one time, or he has wrath and anger and punishes people. Which one is it? Make your damn mind up, because it can only be one or the other. And how can the Heavenly Father tell you to forgive, not hold grudges, not be angry, not hate your neighbor and all that stuff, and he's doing it? Explain that. Because it doesn't make any sense. Then you're saying if you're not saved, you can't get to heaven. Who are you to tell someone that? You're not God. Who are you to say anything about that to a person? You're not God. You don't know why they're doing what they're doing. Then you say backsliding Christians can't get into heaven. Who are you to tell anyone where they can and cannot go? Personally. Next thing, if you claim you're supposed to be a Christian following God and you hate someone for a lifestyle choice, you're not following God. You're following your own damn intentions that you learned from corrupted ass church people that taught them to you. First of all, God is not a spirit of hate. God is a spirit of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. There's no hate in the Father's spirit. And then you say, if you sin against God, he's going to turn his back on you. Can I just ask this question? How can God be all wise and be angry for stuff he sees coming? If he foreknows you're going to mess up, then why would he be angry about it? That's dumb. That's like me watching a damn movie and then re-watching the movie I just watched, being surprised about the shit that just happened that I just saw happen. Do y'all realize half of the shit y'all say and the shit y'all teach? Then you say God wants 10% of your tithes and your offerings. Then you say God is not a lover of money, but he wants your money. What the fuck does that even mean? He wants your money, but he doesn't love money. Then you say, be in the world, don't be of the world, for God does not love the world. How can he not love what he made? Explain that to me. And if you believe God don't let us world, and it's called an earth, spell the word earth backwards. It spells heart. 
means what exists on this planet is God's heart. Then you say be in the world, but don't be of it. How can you be in the world and not be of it? Jesus was in this world and lived in a worldly fashion to learn of the world and why it's broken and fallen. How can you live in the world and not be of the world? Everybody's of the world. You're a worldly person until you leave the world. Oh, y'all don't make no sense. I tell you, y'all don't make no sense. Contradictions, is just, it just don't make sense. It's like one minute you do all you can for the church, you're going to heaven. The next minute you don't do anything, you're going straight to hell. Then if you're gay, you're going to hell. You commit the sin of homosexuality, you're going to hell. And my question to y'all is, Christians of the African American community, why is it the only sin you condemn is gay? Like the sin of fornication don't happen. The sin of deceit don't happen. Really? Hate, lying, killing, stealing, deception, all that shit don't matter. You just focus on being gay. That's the only sin that fucking exists. Are you serious? Man, African Americans need to get over this whole homophobic thing, man. Because I'm going to be honest with you, a lot of people in the black community are secretly gay and just won't say nothing about it because they're ashamed of being that way. But I get it. If you get raped by your slave master for 400 or something years, you will be ashamed of it too. I get it. I get it. And just so you know, them dildos y'all women use, just know your uh, male ancestors got raped with them in slavery. Just, just so y'all know that. Just saying. But yeah, anywho, that's the stuff about the church I don't personally understand is how y'all can sit there and tell somebody this is a sin, that's a sin, this is a sin, that's a sin. I'm going to just explain this one time, then I'm going to drop this shit like a bad habit or a hot potato, nigga. The word sin means center so the center of a human being sin has to corrupt your center or it's not a sin anything that corrupts you is a sin if it does not corrupt you it ain't a sin don't know where y'all keep getting this bullshit from it's not a sin if it's a it's a sin if it corrupts you. If it don't corrupt you, then it's not a sin. If it doesn't harm or heart or if it doesn't harm heart or harm or scar or kill or destroy or devour you or the people around you, it's not a sin. Sin is just another word for corrupt. Or make your soul crimson, red, or black. So as far as this whole thing about the church telling people they're going to hell, y'all can't tell anybody where they are going because y'all never been to either place. And you don't have a hell or heaven to put anybody in. So stop telling people where they're going for you know not the person's journey through life that they had to take just to get this far. Some people, yeah, they're strung out on drugs. Some people are gay. Some people are thugs. Some people are murderers, liars, con artists, thieves. Everyone has some or more than one sin that unfortunately has kept them in a bad place. And some people have had to commit heinous acts of evil to get as far in life as they did. People say, oh, well, you need to just trust God. Well, it's not that easy for everybody. It's not that easy. People say it is. No, it's not. Not for everybody. Not to say that people who don't trust God don't love them. It's just some people want things faster than God's willing to give it to them. Certain people want things done faster than God's willing to allow. God is willing to allow it to happen. 
he takes time to do things because he's always looking into time to see how it'll work out for your good. And if it won't work out for your good, he's going to keep it away from you. I mean, Lucifer, he'll try to send it to you just to fuck you up. Just to see how stupid you are to accept it in your own human greed and your ignorance. But God is going to always try to keep it from you if you if it destroys you. But it's your decision to speed it up and get it or slow it down and wait for it. And better yourself and make yourself ready for when it comes to you. That way you don't mess it up. But yeah... So, I uh, just wanted to throw that out there. So, all y'all who keep saying God hates this, God hates that, God don't forgive all that. No, it's not God that hates or God that doesn't forgive. It's you who don't. But y'all use God as a way to make everything okay to hate and not forgive. Personally. Just thought I would say that. So, yeah. I'm out here.